Hey, what's up? This is Kishna again. I know this video is kind of long overdue. A um, little less than a year ago, I made a video on how to make a Midna helmet, so now it's going to be how to make uh, the Midna suit. I, I, I attempted it once before, totally screwed it up. Really don't think those videos are YouTube worthy. So I'm trying it again. It's been a while. So here we go. Here's the how to on Minna's suit. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need is um, one, a morph suit. Not sure if you guys know what those are. So, morph suit, zoot suit, body suit, basically really stretchy fabric that goes over your whole body. Most people have seen them, just not sure what they're called. I'm using a white one. I got it off eBay for about $30, $35. Pretty good price when you go to a local store, at least around here, they're about $60. Here is mine. I've kind of already started a little bit. I'll go into what's going on there in just a few minutes. What else you're going to need is scotch tape, fabric black spray, a good permanent marker. Make sure it's full and there, it's going to last a while or get a couple of them, a couple of different sizes. And then this um, Scribbles 3D paint in a shamrock green. I also have one other color. Let me grab that. And I have a shimmering teal. They both can use, be work for her suit. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be using quite yet. So there's the supplies. Okay, so what's going on here is this is my morph suit over a half a mannequin. Her arms and legs are filled with old rags and stuff, stuff we were just going to throw away. And right here, what's going on with the black is... So I made lines uh, according to the... Her, the body designs according to Minna. She is, um, and I put these lines because when I put the scotch tape on to protect the um, white, I'm also going to be covering these lines I made because at my first attempt, it bled. Couldn't get the bleeding out. Kind of sucked. So all I did was um, draw the lines, and these beads, bees are not for boobs. They're for where the black is, just like it is down here and. On this side of her, there is a bee on her chest pieces, and her butt, and so on. And where there aren't bees, I'm going to be covering in scotch tape, so that's my next step. What I might have forgotten is um, the lines done on the Minda cosplay, the Minda suit already, were done in the permanent marker. That's what you need the permanent marker for. Alright, so this is what I'm doing. I am taping up all the white to protect it. And I'm just kind of going around where my lines are. Uh, the lines were bigger, some of them are going under the um, tape, that way so if when you put the paint on it bleeds a little, it bleeds into the black, not into the white. So what I haven't taped is all of this, all this needs to be taped all the way around her body, all the way down, and up here hasn't been taped, and the other side, most of that hasn't been taped either. And I'm just taking this, and ju I'm just taking this, and taping it down. <clears throat> okay, so my suit is all taped up. Please, please, please make all precautions to cover all the white because if you don't, you're going to get red blo black blotches in random places. Really not going to make you happy, with especially how much time just doing this takes. And a little tip. The reason why I suggest scotch tape is because duct tape, one, it tends to leave a sticky residue. And I personally wouldn't suggest washing this to get this off because you never know, you may bleed the black dye that you put into it. And then same goes with um, like electrical tape. So your best bet would be to use scotch tape. Just a little tip, thought I'd inform you of that so you don't go making a mistake that I could have helped to prevent. Alright, so she's all taped up. The next step is going to be taking one of this stuff and spraying her black parts. Uh, just so you know, one of these is definitely not going to be enough. You're going to need probably around four to five, maybe even more, depending on whether or not you like the um, whether or not you like the light dark or you really want that pitch black look. I I'm going for that pitch black look. Okay, so I've been painting her. 
And obviously, some spots are still a little uneven, but just so you know, her arms aren't done yet, her leg isn't completed, and I am still, I am already on three bottles of that stuff. And, you know, you see me doing this in my bedroom. Probably best idea to do it outside, but it's snowing outside here. So if it's possible, you should probably do it outside. But, yeah, so far it's working great. Let's see, I got some lines over here that I need to work on. Some evening up I still need to do, and like I said, I've already gone through three of those bottles. So, yeah, we'll see her soon. So I've started removing the tape. You'll notice a little bit of bleeding here. Never promised it wouldn't happen, but this mean, means a little bit of designs going to be uh, changing, just a wee bit. So I'm just going through and removing the tape off of numerous areas. So now for the tedious part that I'm sure all of you will enjoy so very much. We're going to go through and fix the bleeding. And what I'm going to use is my leftover um, fabric paint for that. And a couple of uh, paint brushes, one really small one to get the fine lines. And all I'm going to do is, like, where this bleeding is, I'm going to go up here as far up as I can and go down and just widen her stomach just a little bit so it covers up all these bleed marks and doesn't look too bad. You're also going to need to go through where the permanent marker was with the paintbrush because the permanent marker is obviously a lot lighter than the paint. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so the last thing you need to do for the suit is her blue bluish green markings. I'm using Scribbler Shimmer Shimmering Teal. And yeah, I already finished it, but just remember that this stuff is sticky and can make the uh, fabric stick to the other side. So you may want to put something in between here. On the legs, I actually had a friend standing in this when I did it. Use references. I'm pretty sure mine's not 100% correct, but it still looks pretty cool. So yeah, that suit would be done. And yeah. So the next video I'm going to make is how to do the Minda makeup. Hopefully that won't take as long as, as much time in between as my helmet and my suit did. But I had some issues there. And I might do one on how to do the wig, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know about that one, because that one's going to be a lot of experimenting on my part. So, yeah. Hope this helped out. Bye! Okay, so to all of you out there that just watched this video and watched my How to Make a Minna Helmet, I would love to see what you guys did. I want to see your pictures of your mini helmets, and if you use this video on how to make a mini suit, I want to see those. Post pictures, send them to me, I don't care, I want to know. I want to see if I helped anybody. So, plus, I'm really curious as to see how everybody else interpret it, interprets it. Thanks! I hope you guys liked all of this.